All right, it is time for the dreaded Coke can test. Uh, I have not tried this yet, but I'm pretty sure I know what the results are going to be. So what we're going to do here is it's quite, quite a coincidence that a Coke can just barely fits here. Look at that. Now, I, of course, had to take the motor off, to the uh, brushless DC motor off to make that fit, but it's just a perfect spot to foot it, put it here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a G1 F500 movement command. So we're going to say uh, G1 F500. This is 10% of this machine's rated velocity. So Bantam claims that they do 250 inches per minute. But in the firmware, it's actually set to 200 inches per minute per axis. It was a 50, 80 millimeters per minute, 5,080 millimeters per, per minute. And I was like, okay, well, maybe they're doing it on two axes or three axes, you know, where you, 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 uh, you say, well, if you're moving X, Y, and Z at 200 inches per minute, then that'll give you, with two axes, it'll give you 282 inches per minute. And with three axes, it'll give you 346 inches per minute. So I don't understand where the 250 inches per minute claim is when the firmware is very obviously 200 inches per minute. And we're going to just go here. Nope. Well, that is my end. That's basically what I thought was going to happen. So let's go to G91 and we'll do Z minus 1. Just give us a little space here. So nope, we did not crush the can can is still in perfect condition. So now we have, I'm just gonna call another desktop CNC machine. Uh, this machine is half the price. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna just put this in here like that. And again, I haven't tested this, but I'm pretty sure I know what the result is. So we're gonna do the same G1 F500 on this machine, and let's see what happens. Yup. So this machine didn't care. So uh, let's go back now and we'll do a G0, Y minus 120, and we'll drop that can out of the way. All right, I think we're gonna try it again with a different Coke can. And I'm gonna actually put a dimple in it. So we've got, I just put a dimple in this can, it's otherwise normal. And we're gonna just see if that helps. We'll take our can, put it in there with the dimple. And let's see if, if with that little assist it can do it. So we're gonna do a G1. F, let's go with F200, so we'll go real slow. G1, F200, that's two and a half times slower. And it's a G91, and we'll say X plus 100. Nope. Not even with a dimple. So, dimple makes the can a lot weaker if that is not entirely obvious. So I think we're kind of done. I'm just going to turn that off. And for good measure. Okay. So again, the can is dimple. So I'm pretty, pretty sure this is going to work. So we're going to say G1, uh, Y minus uh, 100. And we're going to do the same F200. And uh, surprising nobody in the surprising nobody department. Look at the way it's crushing. It's That's actually got some rigidity to it just by the way it formed. But uh, again, this particular machine doesn't really care because it actually has torque. Uh, yeah, look at that, getting all crushed out. See, oh, is it gonna drop out? Oh, that'd be, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, Bantam, no torque. That's kind of what I was expecting was gonna happen.